today's Maimah is based on the Haftarah of this week's Parsha, which the Haftarah ends the last two Pesukim, Ve'rastichli la'olam, Ve'rastichli b'tzedek of a Mishmat, page 438, in your article Chumash, Uvechesu l'rachmem, Ve'rachtzili be'emunah ve'yedat as Hashem, which is, Hashem says to the Jewish people, I shall marry you forever. I shall marry you to me with righteousness and with justice and with kindness and with mercy. I shall marry you uh, to me with uh, f- fidelity and I, I shall know Hashem. So the question is, why does it say three times in the same sentence, does it say Hashem says, I shall marry you forever. Then it says again, I shall marry you with kindness and, and righteousness. And then it says again, I shall marry you uh, with faith. What's going on here? It should say like this. I shall marry you with uh, uh, forever I shall, and, and justice and kindness and faith. Why does it say three types of marriages? There's one marriage forever. There's another marriage with justice and righteousness. And there's a third marriage with faith. And then it ends off, and you shall know Hashem. So that means there's three kinds of marriages, and then it ends off, you shall know Hashem. So what's the three kinds of marriages? And why does he end off, you should know Hashem, after all three kinds of marriages? And the answer is, my dear friends, there's three levels a Jew connects to Hashem. There's one level that's called Chachma Bin Adas. He understands godliness, he comprehends godliness, and therefore his He's connecting to Hashem because he comprehends, he understands, he exerts his mind, and he understands godliness. That connection is forever. Because if you understand it, like a tzaddik, he understands it, he sees it, he connects to it. Then there's another level of of connection, which is called connection through justice and kindness. What justice? A Jew that doesn't have the ability to understand God with his intelligence, but he does justice. He follow. He does the mitzvahs. He does the 630 mitzvahs. He's not a scholar. He doesn't learn Torah like the first level Jew, which understands God with learning Torah and scholarness and 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 and, and his understanding. But he connects to Hashem with justice and righteousness. What do we mean justice and righteousness? He does the 365 prohibitions of the Torah, and he does the 248 mitzvahs, so he has justice and righteousness and kindness. So that's a second marriage. Then there's a third marriage. A Jew that doesn't, is not a scholar, so he doesn't have the godly understanding. Number two, he doesn't do mitzvahs, but he has faith in God. Emunah. Emunah means he has a tremendous faith in Hashem. So the Torah says that even the third level which his connection to Hashem is not through justice of righteousness, which is doing what Hashem wants. His only connection is he believes in Hashem. I'm a Jew that believes, but nothing more. Still, v'yadat as Hashem. What's v'yadat mean? He will know. Even the third level, even a Jew that doesn't learn Torah, even a Jew that doesn't do all the mitzvahs, but he has the faith in Hashem, even him he will know Hashem. Meaning Hashem is saying, that even a Jew like that, as long as he has faith in Hashem, he will know. What does knowing mean in Torah? When the Torah says the word knowing is like, Va'adam yada es chava. And Adam knew Eve. What does it mean he knew Eve? He connected and he attached himself and he became one with Chava. The same thing, a Jew that has faith in Hashem also will become one with Hashem, just like the Jew that learned the whole Torah or the Jew that does all the mitzvahs also has that connection. So therefore, it's many people when they put on their tefillin and they wrap their finger, their middle finger, they wrap it three times. The bottom, top, and then the bottom. They say, the first time they say, which is the higher level of tzaddikim. The second wrap they say, which is the one that doesn't have the scholarly mind, but he does mitzvahs. The third is, which is the third level Jew, that his connection is only faith. But we adapt as Hashem, even a Jew that's only connection to Hashem is through faith, he also is connected to Hashem. And that's why we read this Haftarah before Shavuos. Because Shavuos is when Hashem married us. 
Hashem says, guys, I want to get married. The wedding is a Shavuos morning, is the marriage of, of, of us and Hashem. Hashem gave us the Ketubah, which is the Ten Commandments. And he says, listen, I give you a, a marriage contract. I'll supply you. I'll give you life. I'll give you sustenance. I'll give you wealth. I'll give you health. Just follow the laws of Torah. I'll provide you with everything. So since the Shavuos is the marriage of Hashem, therefore we read this Haftarah on the three levels that even a Jew, that his whole connection to Hashem is through faith. He also can connect to Hashem. And infinitely, and eventually, he'll, by through his faith, he'll get to do the mitzvahs. And through his faith, he'll get to learn. And he'll be connected with Olam, which is an everlasting connection because he'll be learning Torah. And through that, the connection will be in a revealed way. So may Hashem help that we should marry Hashem this Shavuos, not only through faith, not only through mitzvahs, but also through learning, which is the deepest connection because that stays forever in a revealed way. Amen.